Hello everyone. As students are starting their first year of college, they need to realize that the kind of education that they received and the kind of life that they lived during their coaching days is going to be fundamentally different from the kind of education that they're going to receive and the life they're going to live in college. So I thought that in this video, I'll discuss some of these important differences so that students can make this transition from their coaching life to a college life as soon as possible and as smoothly as possible. So the first important difference is that students need to realize that coaching is basically a support system to help them win in an elimination game because the entrance examination examinations, whether you like it or not, is basically that it is an elimination game. So the coaching is there to help you win at this. So it is uh, the prime focus for them is to give you the type of education which will help you to just beat others. It is not a genuine form of education. I'm sorry to say this, but it is what it is. In contrast to that, the kind of education that is there in the college, that is the actual genuine education. Because there, the professors, we the professors, our end goal is not elimination. Our end goal is here to impart to you the knowledge the kind of knowledge that will help you become proficient in various subjects and various topics of engineering, science, medi medicine, whatever it is, and to help you become uh, future engineers, scientists, doctors, whatever. So the end goal determines the kind of education that there is. In coaching, it is one kind and in college, it is another kind. The end goal is completely different. This is the fundamental difference. Now, because of this difference uh, in college education, there is always a greater tendency to emphasize on theory. This is something which students need to realize as early as possible. Now, coaching, because of this end goal of uh, supporting you in the elimination thing, uh, it is uh, structured in a fashion to help you solve many different kinds of problems. So here I'm talking about engineering. Uh, so they'll train you in solving various different kinds of problems so that that problem solving thing is uh, the, the, the big variety and more complicated problems that they can uh, train you in. That is the uh, a big objective from the coaching teachers. But in contrast to that in college, because the end goal is to give you a proficiency in the deep fundamental knowledge of the various subjects and topics, uh, probably there is less emphasis on problem solving. You will be expected to become proficient and be proficient in problem solving, but the, the direct interaction that you're going to have with the teachers is going to be more on the theoretical side. So uh, on imparting the education. And there is also the thing that because of the limited time within the semester system that, uh, that each course is going to have, each subject is going to have uh, in that limited time, first the teachers try to ensure that it is the knowledge which is being transmitted to the students properly first. So it is actually, uh, it is expected that the students will take initiative on their own. The onus is them actually to develop their proficiency in problem solving in the various subjects at college, which is completely different from what it is in coaching, where the teachers actually pro are proactive in helping you develop that proficiency. This is another big, big difference. This kind of regimented problem solving versus the uh, versus developing the, the theoretical basis and leaving to you the the problem solving, the proficiency in problem solving part in college. Now, this is a difference which, which many students uh, cannot actually reconcile themselves to. They, uh, they cling on to, the, uh, to their experiences from coaching and keep on thinking maybe in the next subject, maybe in the next subject, they will get to have a kind of training which, uh, is, a, uh, which is more like their coaching. But that kind of a thing never really happens in college. I'm sorry to say this, but it is what it is. So the faster you develop this uh, initiative and 
you take on this onus, this responsibility of developing your own proficiency in problem solving, the better it will be for you. And it is also important to realize that this is real life, this college education, this is how it is supposed to be. The coaching was much more regimented. That was not the real thing. This is after you have, after you've come across that elimination game, we are no longer trying to eliminate you. We professors are no longer trying to eliminate you. We have already selected you. We just want you to develop this, uh, these abilities on your own. So, so to try to make this transition as soon as possible. The, the next thing is that in coaching, despite the fact that you'll have that you'd have to uh, go through various complicated levels of problems, uh, various kinds of challenging tests uh, and, uh, and mock tests for the actual exams. Ultimately, life was relatively simple. Okay, I do not mean simple in the sense that it was, uh, there were no complications, but it was much more neat and organized for you. The, because the end objective was very clear that you would have to solve as many number of problems correctly as possible to get selected in the various institutes. That was the clean cut objective. As opposed to that, college life is not that clean cut. What I mean to say is that uh, there is of course a structure that the colleges have this semester system, there are class tests, there are uh, exams, uh, uh, various syllabus as there, the various curricula there. In that way it is definitely organized, but in college life there the number of avenues and opportunities to explore is far more. So and nobody is going to actually guide you and tell you that you have to choose and pick this thing and that thing. You have to undergo this process of self discovery so to speak and to discover your to, to find out your determine your own interests and your life goals. So uh, this is this flexibility this freedom that you have uh, in college life is actually a proper reflection of actual life also. So just like in real life there is no manual. So here also in college life there may be some rules and regulations uh, but at the end of the day it is you who determine what you want to do. Now this demands of course that uh, in college you have a higher level of maturity, a much, much higher level of maturity so that you can determine these kinds of life goals based on your own interests. First of all, you have to determine what your interests are. You have to undergo uh, this process of self-discovery and then based on those kinds of, uh, on that self-discovery, on, on realizing what your actual genuine interests are, you have to uh, make your choices. You have to orient your journey uh, suited to your life goals. So there are lots of opportunities, there are lots of avenues. So there is lot of, lots of freedom and flexibility, but which also makes it much more unorganized and uh, like a confusing mess for you to pick and choose from. So uh, again, as I said, this is a reflection of actual life. In a similar vein, uh, on the education side of it, coming back to it again, uh, as I said, in coaching, it is very structured and regimented. You only have three subjects, at max four subjects, physics, chemistry, maths, biology. Uh, and uh, that's all you have to worry about. But in college, the number of subjects that you have to learn is far more in number. And the variety is also huge. So if we just talk about the depth subjects, the mandatory subjects which you have to learn as part of a departmental curriculum, that itself is huge. Now, in addition to that, you also have the option of choosing various kinds of breadths and electives. Uh, then you also have the choice of uh, taking up a particular specialization within a large department. For example, in mechanical engineering, we have three specializations. and no. So these are like super specializations and you have to make an, a proactive choice in orienting your interest towards one of these. So again, there is no manual for this. You have to undergo this process of this time academic self-discovery, determining what your interests are and then choosing accordingly. 
you may discuss with your seniors you may discuss with your friends but at the end of the day it is you yourself who has to make these choices now there is a catch here that those of you who are joining just the first year in the first year these choices will not be necessary so you will not have to make these choices right out uh, in the first year everything will be set out for you in a systematic uh, fashion so you don't have to worry about breaths and electives but whatever the subjects are given to you if you do not study them properly then you will not be able to realize what actually interests you because you have if you have not put your mind to it how are you even going to realize what you like and what you don't like and if you don't have this realization if you do not undergo this process of self discovery through proper concerted efforts later on when it is time for you to make your choice you will not be able to make an informed decision so please keep that in mind also so what you have to do the kind of freedom of uh, choice that you'll have later on maybe in your third year fourth year for that you have to prepare the ground right away starting from your first year so none of these things you have to worry about when you are doing your coaching the best analogy that i can provide here is that coaching is more like a sprint it is like a short race even though uh, some students may be undergoing coaching starting from their 6th and 7th in which case it is it's a completely different reality but what i mean by coaching is coaching in the uh, 10 plus 2 standard so this two year period is like a sprint but coaching uh, but college life uh, is more like a marathon so you have to pace yourself uh, and you have to also realize that this is a special kind of marathon in the sense that this marathon because of the semester system is like a series of sprints so it is not like a long monolithic ma uh, marathon rather it is like a it is composed of a series of sprints but at the same time these sprints they are unique to every student so no two sprints and no two marathon races are exactly alike for the students it it is it depends on the kind of choices that they have made and the kind of orientations that they have selected for themselves now all in all i have said a lot of things but you have to understand that this mixture between sprint and marathon this analogy that is going uh, telling you about this has a certain implication in the way that you learn the subjects i have mentioned this earlier in my uh, previous videos and that is that in the semester system which is by itself like a sprint you won't have the time to learn a subject like it should be learned so here you will have to make a conscious decision a proactive decision of learning the coursework as it is set out by the professor so please keep this thing in mind and the way that it works as a marathon is that after the semester is over it does not mean that your relationship with the subject is over rather as you move along and develop your you, you discover your own interests maybe you will have an opportunity to come back to this subject in the form of learning a more advanced subject in which case in you will be able to actually start learning the subject as it should be learned so the course work itself are like sprints but the whole game of learning the subject is like a marathon i hope i i was able to make myself clear so at the end i wish you all the very best as you make this transition from your coaching days to your college life there are going to be many many differences many other differences which you will realize for yourself but just keep in mind that the kind of life you will experience the kind of education you will experience in college life that is so this is the moral of the story this is a more a better reflection of how actual life is supposed to be with its disorganized mess uh, various kinds of complicated choices and what not compared to the clean cut organized fashion in which you had your coaching days so with this i wish you all the very best uh, have a wonderful college life ahead